Cancers, and welcome in, Cancers, and welcome back. This is going to be your first half of March general reading. This can resonate if you have Cancer as your sun, moon, rising, Venus placement, or if you are cross watching. Sorry, y'all. I was like, um, what is this? I don't know what this is on this table, but whatever. This, um, message won't resonate with all of y'all out there so again only take what resonates okay if it's not for you it's not for you if it does resonate do like share comment subscribe if you haven't already cancer so let's get into your energy i was um hearing take you down i don't know what that means but <laughs> let's see Right, gratitude is what I flip. I'm gonna shuffle again. I don't know what um that take you down energy is. I feel like some of y'all can be dealing with like some legal issues. Um for others of you, I feel like you could have someone like trying to bring your energy down around you. Okay, but let's see. We'll see if anything kind of comes up like that in your reader. All right. Cancers. Truth. Okay. And then hardship on the bottom of the deck. Very interesting. Okay, these cards um in this deck all look different, but these two particular cards you can see they kind of look alike. And hardship is on the bottom of the deck. Some of y'all can be dealing with the Capricorn, um, or you can have that in your chart. Because they had this card in the same position. But what I'm feeling for you guys is that for one, some truth is about to be revealed. Okay, just like I said with that take you down energy. If there is someone that has been like trying to like secretly like sabotage you behind your back. Like do something to kind of bring you down. I feel like that is going to be exposed um, to you during this time. I feel like truth is definitely being revealed in a situation. And I feel like for some of you guys, it is going to be something that could be like hard to accept or it could be something that's like, um, you know, not necessarily just the best of times. But I feel like in some kind of way with this ambition behind this, it's going to like motivate y'all even further. OK, so this hardship energy says, may, may I embrace what's happening right now as baffling or painful as it is. Help me, God, to trust where you're guiding me. So you guys are definitely being guided. Um, like I said, with this truth, whatever it is, it's going to definitely help you in some kind of way. This says when everything is done as an offering, even the act of speaking, you get shown when to talk and when to be silent. Your words come from silence, not fear. You do the talking, dear Lord. Take over me and speak through me. So... Cancers, I definitely feel like y'all need to watch your words. Um, some of y'all, it's, it's like you're going to be, how can I say this? I feel like whatever this truth that, that comes out, it's going to like make you want to say some particular things. But it's like your spirit is saying, you know, offer that up. Don't worry about it. Just ask to it. To, to know when it when it's time to speak. And y'all see how I'm stumbling over my words <laughs> while I was trying to say that. It's so crazy. Y'all got relationship change here in that spiritual partnership. So I definitely feel like there could have been like a change um, or an ending to a relationship. Some of you guys were dealing with someone that taught you like some spiritual lessons that were in your life to kind of grow you guys on a spiritual level in some kind of way. Clarify this relationship change. Look, <laughs> change definitely a lot of change in the air for y'all um cancers but whatever it is it's also leading you to like your true path you see the spiritual career energy on the bottom of the deck i feel like it's pushing you guys directly where you're supposed to be like this person it helped you in some kind of way for some of you guys with all this blue energy here i feel like y'all can be getting a lot of throat chakra energy like where you're going to be speaking your truth in a situation but Spirit is saying that you you need to know when it's time to um, speak and when it's time to be quiet. All right, so definitely a lot of changes. Okay, let's see. What's the overall energy crown in your reading, Cancers? 
let's see overall energy base chakra and find balance okay and then observe like i said for some of y'all look then i tell y'all it's in all that blue throat chakra i feel like something is going to be revealed to you guys but whatever this is it's like for one you're needing to be open to seeing things from a different perspective um not just looking at things from one way i feel like for others of you you're going to see somebody in a different light or someone's going to be seeing you in a different light for some of you guys you have a lot of people watching you um with this observed energy but this is also like the hangman so this is definitely telling me like to be mindful of yourself your energy what you're saying how you're saying things with base chakra and fine balance i feel like whatever this this situation is if somebody's trying to kind of throw you you off in, in some kind of way and that's why with this fine balance spirit is telling you like to, to ground yourself like you really need to be really grounded going into this next cycle because like i said some of the things that you're going to hear is going to upset you okay so you need to find that balance within and embrace this change that's taking place because like i said for a lot of y'all it's, it's putting you on your path or it's, it puts you on your path so let's go into your tarot cancers what's coming through for my cancers i feel a lot of change though relationship change change i just feel like it's a lot of change happening um in your life but i don't feel like it's a bad change i feel like for you guys it's good okay um it's just new seven of pentacles king of pentacles yeah a lot of newness Let's see. Let's come in here for Cancer. What does Cancer need to know? First half of a March. Let's see. What's your energy? The Five of Wands. And sorry, y'all. I just flipped that weird because of how I grabbed it. But this Five of Wands energy is telling me, yeah, it's some conflict. Um, either around you. I feel like this could be, you know, tension. This could be, you know, people trying to be in competition with you. This could be drama. Some of you guys, this is like inner turmoil, inner conflict that you are experiencing. Maybe you feel like you're at odds with a lot of different people. Um, let's see. The Page of Pentacles. The Devil here. Some of y'all are definitely dealing with the Capricorn or you have that in your chart. Okay, and let's see what the energy is around you. The Nine of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, and then the Ten of Pentacles. And then your overall energy, the Five of Swords. I knew we was going to see this. Like I said, y'all have some haters um, in the building. Okay, I feel like a lot of you guys are upset because you found a way to free yourself from some sort of situation and go towards your happiness. And I feel like a lot of you guys, you left a lot of people behind. Simple as that. Like you're progressing or you're just doing things in your life. Like you're being a little, some of you guys are coming off as secretive because you have like, you're making plans, you're working towards projects, you know, you're just doing a lot of things. Some of you guys are into fashion, hair. Some of you guys may um, be into like, you have, you can have a boutique, um, but I just feel like you guys are definitely going towards your happiness. Like you freed yourself from some sort of situation. And I feel like whoever this could have involved with this nine of swords energy, it's like now they're stressed out and it's like they're bringing their drama to you. Okay. Or trying to cause like some sort of conflict chaos in your life. And some of you guys, this could be a family member, um, this could def definitely be a family member. I feel like somebody like feels like you're you're in a situation to where you're gaining or like you have a certain status and they could feel like, you know, you should be helping them or doing more for them or providing more for them or something like that. Um, because you have the six of pentacles, ten of pentacles. So I definitely feel like somebody is expecting something from you, whether it's financially, um, materially, whatever. And I feel like that they're trying to like hold this over your head. You know what I'm saying? And whatever this is with this Delver Energy Ten of Pentacles, I feel like it's definitely throwing y'all off. Okay. Some of you guys are like 
going tit for tat or going back and forth with this person. Like, that's the energy that's here. But that's why Spirit is saying, like, find balance in the situation. All right, let's, um, let's clarify. Let's first see what this Father Wands energy is. For some of y'all, this Father Wands energy is like a past energy. And I feel like you could have found your way out of that. Like you could have, like I said, you, you're moving forward and you could have left some people behind. Um, you know, they're still struggling, still trying to find their way, but that's not your fault. Okay, let's see. Okay, Four of Swords. Clarify this Father Wands energy for Cancers. What's this Father Wands energy? Clarify this Father Wands energy. Some of you guys have been investing in like a toxic rela a relationship and you're freeing yourself from that. All right, what's this Father Wands energy? The Knight of Cups. Yeah, then look, the Five of Swords. I feel like you guys were around people that had a lot of, like, a lot of things to say. They were, like, throwing you off um, when it comes to your feelings and emotions. I feel like you guys were focused on something, working towards something, and you were just getting, like, a lot of, a lot of different drama, a lot of different challenges, a lot of different obstacles. For some of you guys, this was stressing you out, like, causing you guys to, you know, be in a space to where you're not sleeping good at night, maybe losing weight. Some of y'all were having like bad dreams or just like just being really, really disturbed energetically. But Page of Pentacles, I feel like y'all took your energy and you invested it in elsewhere. And whatever this is, it's bringing in like returns, you know, for you financially. And I feel like you got people looking at you like they're expecting a lot from you. Some of y'all cut your hair. Some of y'all completely cut your hair. All right, well, we got the tower. And then the empress. Hmm. Some of you guys, this can be regarding like the mother of your ch child. I mean, or the father of your child it could be like regarding your your child in some kind of way. Look, ooh, emperor and empress. Some of y'all invested something elsewhere, and it's like you done bossed up with someone. Okay, for some of y'all, this emperor and empress energy is like boss status. Okay, especially in a relationship. This is like two people who are very prosperous. Um, this is masculine, divine masculine, divine feminine energy. The tower here, I feel like it's some sort of whatever you switched it up and invested in. The tower being here, I feel like um, it brought in a lot of change. All right, this is way too many cards. Let's see. Why's well, the tower here though? What's the tower here? King of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you guys were, um, you guys made some changes. And whatever these changes was with this King of Swords energy, I feel like you're super set and focused on whatever it is that you decided to invest in. For some of you guys with that devil energy here, you're almost like super obsessive about it. But you have someone around you that's like one of your time, one of your energy, or they feel like you owe them. Okay, clarify the Six of Pentacles. Lots of Six of Pentacles here. The Nine of Wands. Ten of Swords. Then the King of Wands. Exactly. Somebody feels like you owe them. Judgment is here. And it's like they are like on you. <laughs> Cancers, it could be a Leo. Um, Sagittarius, Aries. Whoever this person is, I feel like you have went through a lot with this person in the past. This person is like trying to kind of take you down and they are determined. Some of you guys are getting like help from your family. Clarify this Ten of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. Yeah, you cannot trust this person or this person's family. This is interesting. Clarify the devil for your energy. Y'all, I'm trying to get some clarity so I can put this whole thing together. King of 
Queen of Wands, and then the world. Wow, look, then the Ace of Swords. So I see what it is. You guys were with someone. This King of Wands, Queen of Wands is, a, is like a counterpart. And I feel like you guys were at some point on the same energy. You know, you guys were dealing with each other. You could have been like intimate with each other, but it wasn't anything like serious. For some of you guys, it could have resulted in, you know, a pregnancy, something like that. But you guys um, could have separated. And I feel like you put your energy elsewhere. You guys made some decisions in your life. You made some changes in your life. Some of you guys with this tower, like you went through something that changed your life dramatically. And you made a decision to free yourself from a situation. And it's like whoever this person is, they're still stuck in that energy. They haven't quite moved on. So it's like you moved on. You bossed your life up. You're dealing with someone else. Could be Aries. Could be Taurus. Um, or Libra. Other signs are here also. But I feel like you just, you're, you, you've you moved on. This person is still stuck on you. And whoever this person is, I feel like they're trying to like bring you down in some kind of way the world is here. It's because they still have feelings for you, okay? And that's the clarity. This is the truth that's going to be revealed to y'all. They still want to go into another cycle with you. And for some of you guys, you've moved on to someone. You're in a serious committed relationship and this person is heartbroken. Ooh, child. Messy Betsy. And I feel like you guys, if you just pay attention, don't, don't just pay attention to like, um, it's weird because this observe and throat chakra, I feel like, you, like you're like you going to be able to see the truth if you just observe. Don't pay attention too much to just like what they're saying or what they're doing. Like, like read between the lines kind of energy. Like look at the situation from a different perspective. I don't know why that is um, coming through, but let's clarify. <laughs> exactly what came out the reason it hurts so much to separate is because our souls are connected this person is still connected to you and i feel like whoever this person is like you guys could have ended the relationship or something could have happened and they made a decision on how they were feeling in the moment but whatever that decision was i don't feel like they were prepared to stand on it but you guys did you made a change it was like you know what okay that's it this is where i draw the line this is where i'm, I'm making a change and now they're like, damn, I made a bad decision or, you know, I lost out. And it's like they're trying to sabotage you in a way. And it's not even I don't feel like it's like super intentional. I just feel like they don't know how to direct their feelings and emotions instead of just telling you like they're fucking hurt. They miss you. They're just being kind of malicious. OK, and then look, bottom of the day, let things come and go. Stay calm. Do not let anything disturb your peace and carry on, period. This is what you guys are going to do. Yeah, honey, they hurt. Whole lot tink tink shit. They should have been honest. Some of y'all, they had y'all stressed out in the past. I mean, stressed. And you done came out of that energy. Made some things happen in your life. And now they looking like, who, who do you think he is? Who she think she is? Let's see what your spirit message is. Purgatory and then Mother Mary with love on the bottom of the day. So this is definitely about like you guys needing to kind of release. Um, I feel like this is also that person. I feel like they're like releasing. And it's just coming out so weird, whoever this person is. And it doesn't have to be um, a relationship. It could be like a friendship. It could be a family member, whatever it is. Okay, so... The Mother Mary message says, Dearest one, I ask you to surrender the fear and anxiety you hold for a loved one's well-being. Trust, all will turn out for the highest good of all concerned. This current situation is simply part of your loved one's life experience and learning. A blessing eventually stems from this current event. Remember, at the heart of all creation, only love exists. Allow divine love to stir within your heart. Feel it move the earth and the stars as the miracle of life forever unfolds. Have faith in the universal spirit of life and know that you and those dear to you are eternally protected. I shower your loved one with protective and healing light. So please do not worry. So some of you guys that have had you stressed out and worry, but like your angels, guys are saying, don't worry. They looking after you and you know, your, your people that you're worried about. So 
this is what I'm getting, Cancers. I hope you guys did enjoy your reading. If you did, do like, share, comments, and subscribe. Till next time, sending y'all love and light. Bye, guys.